Cervical cancer is a preventable cancer. Early detection is key, and it's important that women understand the recommended screening. Guidelines from the U.S. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're making this way too complicated. Let's make this easier to understand. Starting at age 21, women should be screened with a pap test. That's correct. There's evidence that screening earlier than age 21, regardless of sexual history, would lead to more harm than benefit. The pap test looks for any abnormal changes in the cells on your cervix that could lead to cancer if not treated. If everything looks good, you get another pap test in three years. No more annual pap. It is true that screening with pap more often than every three years confers little additional benefit. Uh-huh. Like I said, starting at 21, pap test every three years. Then, starting at age 30, women should get co-tested with a pap and an HPV test. The pap test looks for cell changes caused by human papillomavirus, HPV. The HPV test looks for the virus itself specifically the types that are linked to cervical cancer. True. Co-testing every five years offers a comparable balance between harms and benefits. Mm -hmm. Age 30, co-testing every five years. Co-testing age 30 every five years. Then, that magical age, 65. At age 65, if you've been regularly screened in the past with no recent problems, you can stop screening. You're done. Well, the decision to end screening depends on whether the patient meets the criteria for adequate prior testing. Defined as three consecutive negative <laughs> cytology results Why don't results we or... leave that one as talk to your healthcare provider to see if you're done with screening? Agreed. Let's review. Starting at 21, pap test every three years. Even if you've been vaccinated for HPV. Good point. Then at 30, PAP HPV co-testing every five years. And then at age 65, you're probably done, but check with your healthcare provider. If you have an abnormal result along the way, you may need additional screening or follow-up, but your healthcare provider will help guide you through that. Right, Doc? Of course. And if you've had a hysterectomy, total or partial, talk to your healthcare provider to see if you still need to be screened. Regular screening can prevent cervical cancer. If you want to learn more about it, or if you want to learn more about a new HPV test approved for primary screening, go to ashasexualhealth.org and talk to your healthcare provider. Of course.